five, four, three, <sighs> two, one. Oh yeah. Somebody bring us in. Oh yeah, we are back. Welcome back, folks. Back for the attack, whatever that means. Can you hear me? No, uh, the uh, I don't hear anything. The, the Rock Bottom Podcast. I've eaten as good as it gets podcast. Welcome back, folks. I'm Mike. I'm Al. Wes. I'm Nick. We. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Justin. It's like your first time. Yeah. A little delay <coughs> there. It's okay. You know what to do. So how was your week? Oh, it's freaking great. Man. So wait, your- wait, wait. We got a special guest on today. We'll bring him in. We got to talk about our week first. Oh. <laughs> It's more important. <laughs> what do you just? We have a special guest, folks, but we're saving the treat, okay? Till the end. No, 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 not at all. When the gold well, comes out. Well, he's introduced himself as Wes. Well, Wes, uh, tell us who you are. What do you do? Uh, I don't do okay. anything. <laughs> Anyone you can, and the easy ones twice. Yeah. <laughs> Another. We we, we kind of all knew each other for like years now, decades probably. Yeah, decades. We yeah. Worked with each other on and off throughout the throughout the years for a really long time. Yeah. So. So, anyway, um, how was your week, Al? Uh, nothing special. Let me see. Did uh, I work on any cars? No. Did I break any doors? No. Did you fix any <laughs> doors? More importantly, no. I still have to cut my weeds. They're getting taller and taller uh, every week. That's got <laughs> and I got it's, it's getting it's gonna it's getting. If you colder. just wait a month, they'll just die anyway. No, that's what I'm thinking. It'll get colder. Mm. So, Justin, Justine, uh, oh, you're no. Nick. You're Nick. <laughs> Shit. I was talking to Justine. Oh, uh, I didn't do anything. Just work. Okay. Maybe. No, you don't. Some extracurricular activities. All right. Well, Wes, how's life been treating you, buddy? We haven't seen you in a while. Doing all right. I mowed my weeds today. <laughs> it's the last time I mowed this year. <laughs> yeah, I got that taken care of last week. So that's good. Um, <clears throat> so hey, we got any stories? Where do we want to start off, guys? Um. Well, okay, so one of the things we we have in common, like we kind of, we work on shit, you know, mechanical. We do? Elec- <laughs> electronic, electrical. So, like, we, I know we all have worked on our own cars. So, so uh, talk about some bonehead fucking shit you did while working on your cars, and you're like, oh, my God. I, I have a good it. one. Start it off. It involves you. <laughs> <laughs> Changing the... Uh, the engine mounts oh. or the motor mounts, whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah. On that, one of the Hondas? No, on the van. The Odyssey. That took all so, fucking day, man. Well, we were working. And, of course, that's the one day that the fucking power goes out. It was funny because we were trying to work with no light. Then we get, what was the the bottom the bottom mount? Oh. And we were you were, like, fucking giving it everything you had. You were getting, like, one click out of the ratchet and then going back. Yeah, it was all we had little, to do was loosen the top, and it would have went in easy. But we spent like what, at least was, a half an hour uh, fucking around. That was it funny. was all day. It was pretty <laughs> and we finally funny. get the thing in, and it's stripped. <laughs> the fucking I'm tightening yeah. up the the fucking bolts, and funny. the thing kept turning. I'm like motherfucker. It's called wrenching on cars. Yeah, that that, that car time. is gonna go. I mean, the mounts need to be replaced again. again. <laughs> yeah, it vibrates when I hit like seventy five. It starts vibrating, so. But Wes, Wes can tell you all about it. He used to own a Jeep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What that stands for? Just empty every pocket. Yeah. You know. No more Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> but man, you you got to go to Moab, right? Yeah, that was fun. That's pretty cool. I should have kept that Jeep. I put a lot of time and money into that. That that was a. I should have kept it. But when you want those hobbies, man, it all comes with the headaches too. Yeah, so. they're expensive. I mean, Al's into collecting classics, so he's got the, uh, what year is the Honda Odyssey? 
That's an old one. Yeah, then you think he's got like an 06 Forerunner with like 30,000 miles on it. What you, how you, how, uh, what's the classic plate deadline? Like 25 years or something like that? <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. Like this close, yeah. You're the so Honda, close. the Saturn, they're all fucking. Just I mean, they there. run. Well, the van, the van has issues. The Saturn's definitely classic. <laughs> the first gen, yeah. <laughs> nah, actually, all te- original. Technically, that's that'll be second gen Saturn when they got more rounded because the first gen was more uh, <laughs> like slanted. Those so your gas pointed. mileage much better. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. They fucking run. You should put a wing on that thing. Speaking of. I mean, nothing <laughs> fancy. Just like a cardboard one. Or like on the we hood? We probably get a, make a good plywood one. Actually. Already has a hood scoop. Put it on the hood. Yeah. <laughs> aluminum foil. <laughs> that way you can shape it. Or you can just make it out of plywood and cover it in aluminum foil. I think foil just two wings. airplane wings coming out of the side would be awesome. <laughs> oh, there we go. We can, we can, when we're ready to retire that thing. Let's go ahead and build something for the flug tog. <laughs> Probably got another hundred thousand miles left in it. Though. I'll cut the hood and put a hood sc- hood scoop on it, so it, so it looks fast. <laughs> one of the plexiglass ones. <laughs> uh, was like anything you see on uh, uh, Street Outlaws. Anything. Just take the hood off, like a real tuner. Have a fake blower sticking out, like Mad Max. <laughs> and then, well, just go to Street Outlaws and get your ass handed. Just put to like you. a box yeah. fan on it. I just make like it breaks every time I come to the line. <laughs> so, ah, damn it. Start pushing it backwards. Oh, I lost a belt again. <laughs> That's what you get out of these high horsepower Saturns. Spraying hairspray with a lighter, trying to make it look like he's blowing flames out of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you, got, you guys got any bonehead shit you did? No, not really. Yeah, Mine is usually when I do the breaks. I've like, had a couple instances where I... Get to doing the other side, or you know, I finish one side and then I go back, and it's like, did I put that together right? I, you know, I just double <laughs> start double thinking, so I have to, you know, I yeah, can't just start, leave it. I got to go back and take the whole damn thing apart. I yeah. start second guessing myself when it comes. Or to I've left shit. like a sensor or something unplugged that you can't just get to with everything. Yeah, you got to gut everything. Yeah, I think we've me off. all kind of done shit like that. This one time, I had a. Uh, not that was great. Thanks yeah, for the story, yeah. Nick. <laughs> I'm, I'm Justin. Uh, <laughs> I had that old Civic, not the one you have, <clears throat> the one before that. I had it up on the ramps, and I was doing, uh, I was doing like a timing belt or something. So I took everything apart, and I realized I couldn't do it with it on the ramps because I, I had the the top end apart, and I couldn't get the fucking. Couldn't take the wheel off because I'm on the ramps. So I thought, instead of putting it all back together, I'll just just roll it off the ramps and then hit the brake. Well, it started rolling, and of course I had the door open, and it started going way too fast, and the door got caught on the on the side of the, the garage. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to get the brakes just in time, but the whole fucking frame was kind of bent. I straightened it out. Yeah, it's okay. Sold now. <laughs> different, different car. <laughs> oh, that car has its own stories. I had a uh, 2006 <laughs> Ford Fusion, and the best way to change the <laughs> yeah. oil on that thing was to just drive it up on ramps. Well, one Saturday afternoon, I may or may not have had too many beers and or shots of whiskey, and if you give it gas, it, those kind of punch you. It was a three the liter slide out. No, I drove right over the fucking ramps. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, I was like, yeah, up in there. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> just jack it up and get Oops. the ramp out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta jack it up to get the ramp out of there. Yeah. I've uh, done I, that. I, I pulled that head and ass move before. So, but yeah, man, I can't think of anything. Trying to figure out how to delete my ballast resistors and my dart. I blew up a couple electronic controllers, you know done shit like that but i forgot to put spring compressors <clears throat> on shocks oh took the bolt off oh geez <laughs> yeah i'm surprised that's you're still happened. here <laughs> happened twice <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> uh, yeah. it a good time <clears throat> fucking widow makers man <laughs> yeah that was on the trucks shocks too so. oh 
heavy duty shit. That's where Nick's normally a man of few words, except for when he's working on something. There's a lot of expletives. Too bad he doesn't work on his relationship. I can I can only guess what your kid's first words were. So, uh, milkman. Couple. <laughs> But yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's probably some of the dumbest. I can't, I can't off the top of my head think of anything recently stupid I've done. But I'm sure it's about time. So <laughs> something's bound to go down. Anyway, so uh, I think for everybody watching too, if you noticed, none of us are drinking any alcoholic beverages this week. Yes, which is really the only way we can tolerate each other. So. This might be the last podcast. <laughs> this could be the last one. Well, what do you do to cope with the, the, the urge to go to the fridge and grab a beer? Masturbate. <laughs> yeah, if I got to be that holding helps. something. That's <laughs> usually what's in my other hand anyway. I, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> my hands are in my pocket. I just drink till I fall asleep. And, <laughs> and then <laughs> all of a sudden you're not drinking anymore. That I quit drinking. Yeah. <laughs> but at my age, it doesn't take very many. Yeah. I understand that. I used to drink like really heavy fuel and then I just went to Coors and then, yeah, as of late, started taking a Bud liking light. to Mike's with a vodka topper and then, yeah, don't do that. It's just, yeah, so we're trying to do this sober October. We're three days in and struggling. Yeah, we're all <laughs> so itching. I lost. You, know, you know what's funny is I don't normally drink like a lot. Like I drink here and I may drink one or two on the weekends really. But since I know I can't drink, I'm, like, craving it so bad. Yeah, for me, it's I, – I typically just sip sort of starting at around noon or 1 on the weekends. I feel like I'm, 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 sipping beers. I'm, like, editing some video, my homemade videos. I'm editing, <laughs> and it's like something's fucking missing because I would have something to sip on usually when I'm editing. We that's that's some, why it's all fucked up. Some that's O'Doul's. <laughs> uh, oh, why? why? <laughs> no. I've like, got a Bush NA upstairs if you want that. It's like just going to the strip club. Just take my money. Does that stand for non-applicable? Is that what that is? Non-alcoholic. Not alcohol? That's exactly. What the, it surprisingly tastes decent, but I just, I look forward to the buzz. What can I say? So, <laughs> but yeah. So I went to recently drinking Coors. Plain is that like Coors not drinking? Is that what you consider not drinking? Pretty much. Yeah. Drinking I mean, Coors is considered well, not drinking? If you're below 10% alcohol content, then you're still not drinking, really. What happened if I showed up here with like with a bottle of whiskey? Would we be drinking? Would We'd we, have like, a quick prohibition moment. Like something, yeah. something, per, uh, you know, something good and smooth. Yeah, I quit drinking Literally. five minutes ago. Like Crown? <laughs> could do that. Because I thought about it. I thought about bringing a... And just to see, like, we, are we... We all just stare at it for an hour <laughs> are, are we still doing this? You know what? You're a dick. <laughs> Why? No, he didn't do it, so he's not no, a dick. No, but even I saying it. I thought about it because, uh, it's like, seriously, okay, what do we lose other than our, it's, our word? It's like, you know what? If you had a really fat friend and then you brought these giant-ass burritos <laughs> to the podcast every week... <laughs> That'd be a dick move. <laughs> I said eat half. Like, I said I just half. I'll start my diet tomorrow. <laughs> I got to cope with not drinking. I started three days ago, but I'll, I'll just start tomorrow. Yeah. Those are some beefy burritos, huh? They I mean, I, I didn't eat mine because, you know, a lot of I, I have willpower. There's like two bites. Out I, have, of like, I have self-control, so, I, you know, I didn't Are we talking mine. about the guys down the street? Those beefy burritos? <laughs> He probably what are we talking about? on the way over. Burrito <laughs> Supreme. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, <laughs> politics. Oh, my uh, God. No. Oh. We need a beer. Oh. oh, wait a minute, though. I think we ought to pay homage to, uh, to, uh, Diane Feinstein, you know? Another one oh. gone too soon. When, when did she go into office? Was it the 60s? I think it might have been 1800 sometime. It was $200 million ago. <laughs> I know that. $200 million? Just Yeah, saying. her net worth was over uh, $200 million, uh, I think. She did a good job. Yeah. She, she did a good job. Yeah. She got peas. That's all well. Yeah. No, so but really, that's, I mean, you know, 
All kidding aside, I mean, that, that's a long career, you know, that she had. That's what I say. I, mean, I always say if you can make it past 80, you're on borrowed time anyway. So you know, you know nine, what the end was like? Run. You ever watch that uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre where they were putting the hammer in Grandpa's hand and trying to help him kill somebody? <laughs> <laughs> that was her at the end. She had no clue what she was doing. Yeah. They were just, oh. oh, you mean like the day before when she voted? The day before she died? <laughs> that was weird. But I don't know. There's a couple times where she was like, what? Like she was yeah, lost they, on what they, was they, going they, on. They you know what? Was, I'm convinced that's, that's pretty much everybody on Capitol Hill now. It's so. getting to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it is. What the hell do you want? Um, we are now currently without a Speaker of the House again. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Process there. That's interesting. Yeah. I, whatever. It is the first time that ever happened, right? Well, I think so. Yeah, they it's got like the first older. time in like 100 some years. I don't know. Uh-huh. Some ridiculous amount of time. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what we pay those people for anymore. So. So now it's status quo, right? Nothing can get done until they appoint one. So. <laughs> status quo. So same as before. Uh, yeah. No, no change. <laughs> now they have a reason. How many Republicans voted him out? There's something like At least seven, five, right? Uh, seven. I heard that they needed or four something. or five or yeah, something. They needed five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, that's where we're at. Don't know what to tell you, folks. Huh. You think he'll throw his name back in a hat? <laughs> Probably. I mean, he can. Mm. There's nothing stopping him from throwing his name back. Yeah. You think he'll just put on a nice pair of sunglasses and a hat and go? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm his brother. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm his brother. <laughs> I'm John McCarthy. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. See what um, happens. Nothing, nobody's safe when Congress is in session, <laughs> as I say, but whatever. Pulling fire alarms, like high school. <laughs> no, I know, I saw that. <laughs> I thought it was the door handle. Come on, guys. I actually, is that what he said? I think yeah. he tried to make that excuse, but I'm like, wait a minute, yeah. isn't that the same way like fire alarms have looked, well, since they were invented? <laughs> and you used to be a middle school uh, principal. And it, <laughs> so I'm sure there's fire alarms all over the place. Maybe he kept pulling them in. in I actually like that too. tactic better than the, all the other stall tactics that they use the bullshit stuff. Like, you have a good old fire alarm pull. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. I'm not going to get on a rant this week, but I just thought I'd bring up the ah, news and you got politics. The, the sober mic's a lot different. Yeah, I don't like this mic. <laughs> yeah, I like the angry drunk mic. With the wife beater. Wearing the wife beater. Man, well, you should have brought that whiskey, buddy. I thought about it. Maybe. Maybe think, next week. I think this podcast should be called something different when we're all sober. It should be a whole different podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad I'm not sober. No. <laughs> Too bad I'm not sober podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was sober podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well... I'll also say this. Then Trump came out and said, Republicans need to band together if anything's going to get done. And he's right. I've been saying this shit for like a year. The Democrats Democrats are good at, they'll fight with each other, and then one gets in power, and they they back each other. They're great at becoming a team. Republicans, all they do is fight, and it's like... To a point. Well, the the Dems eat their own. You know, like Bernie, when Bernie was... Like looking like he's gonna be in the lead. I mean, they fucking pushed him aside, and then you had uh when uh what's her face, uh, Gabby, Tulsi Gabbard. To- yeah, Tulsi. Sorry, Tulsi Gabbard. Dude, Gabby she's Tulsi. fucking from your state, and you can't. Remember that. <laughs> she's an independent now. I don't care about her. When she was oh, a Democrat, I would have voted was, for her. She was hot when she was I'm, a Democrat. I'm not opposed to voting for her. No, but I'm not but, either. That, but that's what it means. As, like, as long as voting means. <laughs> they eat their own in that sense. But yeah, but when once they're in the house and all that, they they back each other up. Not like the the uh, Republicans. Yeah. So whatever. What are you gonna do? Run for office. I think so. <laughs> well, I can't now after that uh, podcast you just You're not, are you week. do you have to be a citizen now? You can't run can you? I I'm a citizen. Aren't you from Hawaii? Uh, yeah. Tell us about when you uh, jumped the border. And I got my out. citizenship. All right. 
Watch Remember your, when you made that homemade anybody raft can, and came to America? <laughs> if anybody can speak about what's going on on the southern border, now, it's you. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. I got my name from watching cartoons. Uh, <laughs> story of how you really got your name is actually pretty funny so yeah it's a good one alan (laughs) (laughs) but anyway all right well does anybody have any stories did you guys see this story about a dog another dog that was caught behind the wheel of a car i don't know know if you remember we had we had uh we had done a story on that before remember the guy was pulled over and he tried to switch with his dog (laughs) yeah yeah you remember that? Yeah, because really? he was shit yeah. faced. Yeah. And then yeah, Al, how, I, did I, that, I how did that court date go, Al? Yeah. <laughs> the hung jury. So oh, I got were out. they? So I you fucked out. your way out of it? And they were, they were all uh, dog lovers. <laughs> dog lovers. So, they were all hung? So I had to bring um, Iris in there. No, they gave him mm. a five year sentence. He got out on two weeks and on good behavior. So. <laughs> Hawaiian time, five years? Yeah. And. Um, no, we got to stop these dogs from getting behind the wheel, man. This is why we got to stop what's going on. So anyway, let me read this story that I found earlier this week. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Doing your homework. Good job. Yeah, I wish I had read it earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and read it now. <laughs> Police in Slovakia shared, all week, folks. <laughs> shared a forward. traffic camera photo of a dog <laughs> sitting behind the wheel of a speeding car, which Al will put the picture of the dog sitting behind the speeding car right here. Oh, Gonna create more work. All right, somewhere, somewhere over here. Somewhere here. Maybe over here. It'll be somewhere. Just put it in front of Nick. He doesn't say shit anyway. So um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, police said in a Facebook post that the image was captured by a traffic camera in the village of Starusi. I don't know how you pronounce that shit. And officers stopped the Skoda car to investigate. Police joked in the pa- in the post that. The brown dog was on the lookout for deer, and officers ruined its hunting plans for the day. <laughs> the 31-year-old owner of the car, who was the actual driver, told police the dog had unexpectedly jumped behind the wheel while he was driving. But police said they were sus that they yeah. Police said they suspect the man was allowing the dog, the large dog, to ride in his lap. The post urged the drivers to make sure dogs and other pets are properly restrained while riding and moving vehicles to avoid dangerous situation. <laughs> I don't see this picture. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. It's a dog hot. It's right, yeah. right here. It's a dog <laughs> it, like. It'll be somewhere. There's one. It'll be somewhere. It's over here. <laughs> Everyone point. <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good job, Wes. Right uh. We're just getting this graphics thing down. <laughs> yeah. There won't, there won't be any pictures. Photos. There won't be any. So by the by, the look of this picture, I didn't really say what kind of dog it was. I don't think it wasn't a small dog. Like I've seen small dogs riding laps or head out the window. It was a Great Pyrenees. It looked kind of like a retriever <laughs> or a, yeah, it's brown like a Labrador maybe or Seattle yeah, Lab maybe or a, yeah something like that that size. Well, you folks be the judge. Al's putting the picture in there, so it's okay. Mm. Yeah, it's right here. I guess I'm putting in a picture. You can it's tell been in thrilled. three times, right? <laughs> oh, now it's over here. There it is. Oh, that that looks crazy. Uh, okay. That now, looks like he's driving. Definitely is, looks like a lab mix with something. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, my God. We need to invest into a green screen for you. You need to look this way. Cause oh, it's over here? over here? Oh, oh yeah. where? Oh, in the it. sink? It's, it's going to be over here. Oh. At least in that area. Doesn't it look like he's driving? <laughs> that that's crazy. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So okay. the guy, didn't say if the guy got charged or anything though. No, I, there, there's the police are just laughing. At I that feel like picture. having sex with your dog while driving should be some kind of offense. <laughs> So the dog just jumped in his lap and took over the car? Yeah. Oh, I don't know how that peanut butter got there. Oh. Oh. You can't see the peanut butter in the picture, but I know it was there. (laughs) It's pretty obvious. All right, cool. Yeah, that took me all week to find that story. Damn, dude. It's just not a lot going on in news today. I know. Shit. So next week we're Let's gonna have Al sent me one. Al's gonna, <laughs> Al's gonna have his dog drive his vehicle, and we're gonna record it. Oh, that'd be good. Okay. 
He's uh, the dog is going to drive out to the back out here and try to meet your dogs which, for sex. Which classic car should I bring? <laughs> I went to see the monster trucks this weekend. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, was that uh, <coughs> Road, Arena? Road, Arena? Road Arena? Do you have any photos that you can send Al and have him insert it? Oh yeah. Was this uh, Al loves to embed grave photos digger? In our, no, or it was a different Hot Wheels uh, neon okay. glow or whatever glow parties. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, it was more for my son, really, than Monster anything. Jam. Did he like it? He loved it, man. Oh, my God. Oh, he's all excited. He did not want to leave. It's fucking and you know you're old it. when you're like, God, those trucks are loud. And you're oh, like, I've loved it, too. But yeah, we did. Uh, just going crazy. So take my daughter to see um, Monster Jam up at the Pepsi Center. Where it used to be the old Pepsi Center up there. It's fucking loud. Yeah. <laughs> we did it in Richmond. It's oh, amazing yeah. how much of a show they can put yeah. on in such a small yeah. area. And not yeah. run into the walls. Yeah. <laughs> they almost did over here, man. Yeah, they, they got to slam on the brakes. Yeah. Because yeah, you're like, what What can they do? Yeah. Uh, you know, but it's amazing <laughs> what they can do in that small space. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, I, just, I, I think he just backed out, backed, backed away up. from the... Oh, you backed, backed it up? Too. I'm sorry. I am new. You backed that thing up? <laughs> yeah. I knew. Let me just... Uh, I'll get closer. I don't like the way you're looking at me and breathing <laughs> all hard and heavy. We can settle this in the bathroom, mister. Uh, I'll be quiet. I'll I'll just speechless bump. again. Fuck. I'll just turn you up some. So... You got anything, Mike? You got anything you want to talk about? I'm looking. I'm looking. Yeah. Good, good, good time to uh, prep during the, the actual recording. Your camera's fucked up, you know. I know. I got to switch it. That I dropped that one. So I had another story. I'm not going to read this story, but so you guys see the, out. in France, they got the bed bug problem. I had that once. They're like infested, but this is like everywhere. And they got the Olympics next year too. Good. Oh, yeah. nice. That, so that's how it's going to get to America. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <clears throat> I got it. Uh, as France prepares for the Olympics next summer, Paris authorities are warning something must be done urgently against the bed bugs. Pests have been spotted on trains, in cinemas, and in cinemas recent weeks. Mm. Uh, bed bug problem with the government warned it must tackle these pests ahead of the Olympics. The French capital is particularly affected by the infestation, according to the reports, which has become a greater problem in the country over the past few years. So basically, they're everywhere, it sounds like. Mm. Sounds hot. That's what happens when you stop saying sleep, good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Right. That's why you don't have them. <laughs> That's, I've had them before, though. Have you really? Where'd you get them from? So. <clears throat> Did your wife accuse you of doing back something in the day, funny? No, no. Oh, so this, this is, is like in, uh, no. We you were mean married. crabs? Those are crabs. Those are crabs. Those are crabs, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Back in his horrid days. Yeah. Your balls are itchy? <laughs> no, back in uh, twenty. 13 right before i came back up here i was in arizona at in working for intel and they put me up in this apartment this long-term apartment because so i was doing some demo stuff in uh fab 21 or whatever fab 12 whatever the fuck it is and uh i always i kept getting these this rash and i was always itchy well the backstory i went there and i I went to the dollar store and I bought my laundry detergent. <laughs> so, <clears throat> anyways, I washed all the sheets and everything with this laundry detergent, and then I get go to bed, and I was all itchy and rashes and everything. And I went to the the nurse, and she said, "Yeah, that could be bed bugs." And I was like, "Oh, great!" So, I told so you, you accidentally bought. Bed, I bed think bugs no, of I think detergent. the detergent is so cheap that it makes you itchy, right? Anyway, so uh, it was just on your arms, all over. Oh, it was all I was it felt like things were crawling on you all Do night you sleep long. Naked? But it's also a mental thing. So no, but I was working. I was in there from Intel. So then Intel, I talked to them, and they said, "Well, we'll get somebody out there to check for bed bugs, right? Because dogs can sniff these things out or something." So these people come, and of course they find out. Oh, this is Intel. Oh, well, doesn't matter what they find. There's fucking bed bugs. Yeah. Right? Because exactly. they're going to get paid. It's going to cost $50,000 yeah. to clean them so, up. So, so it was one of those, or I don't think there was really bed bugs. I think it was the, the detergent. But they had me wash all my shit, put it in trash bags and all this. And Anyway, it was just an experience. That's all I'm saying. 
So that hooker you took home had bed bugs on her. Something. Yeah. Uh, oh. I agree with what uh, Justin said. It's probably crabs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, made, they told me to put my stuff in laundry bag and shave my balls. It was, it was all funny games. I had to light my pubes on fire. When you were joking around, wearing her this? merkin around the room. Oh, merkin yeah. around the room. Well. The next thing you know, you have little bumps. Bruh. You have little bumps around the edge of your penis. And it turned purple, and it looked like a big purple racetrack That's going around your... Thing, dude. Were you, yeah, did you just get done with a merkin swap? Swapping with somebody I else. I think it was probably the people upstairs. Is that upstairs. like a post game where they swap jerseys? Kind of. Swap Merkins after you're done? You know, I was in that apartment and the upstairs people, during the day, it sounded like they were bowling on the floor. And at night and fucking 5 or 4.30 in the morning, they were banging fucking hard. And it was loud, man. You could wake up and just They were probably just trying it. to slap the bed like bugs. Trying to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to, to kill all the bed bugs. Come through the ceiling is what it sounded like. <laughs> Literally come through the ceiling. Yeah. And you teared up, didn't you? Because you're like, it never sounds like that when my wife and I are doing it. <laughs> so that's what pleasure sounds like. <laughs> Oh, uh, does she watch this? No, she can't waste her time on this shit. I'm, <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a VHS them. copy and drop it off on your doorstep. I know she'll watch that. Go ahead, beta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, how about this one? Missouri high school teacher is put on leave after school officials discover her page on porn site. Oh yeah, sounds I, hot. I wouldn't be so quick to say that because. <laughs> Make sure she's hot first. <laughs> she probably looks like that dude with the big breasts. So oh, that was the, Cana- the Canadian guy. Yeah. Oh, and she was a high school teacher. Oh, it is a high school teacher. Holy crap. Okay. Missouri no. high school teacher says she has been placed on leave after officials discovered that she was performing performing on a wow. pornography website to so supplement her teacher. salary. Oh, there's even a name here. Maybe I should look it up. Brianna Copage, 28 right age was uh, taught who taught English at St. Clair High School says her teaching days are probably over but she acknowledges she knew the risk oh, Coppage yeah. told St. Louis oh lordy oh, oh my god let me see she should have been banging all the kids all right that's it let me pull up X video I can't <laughs> smell put it in the video Al what was the name <laughs> the video put a link in the video <laughs> What was the name? We'll send you a link, folks. Brianna. We'll send Copage. you a link. <laughs> oh, she is if not you guys bad. had iOS, I could just airdrop it to you. Oh, yeah. It must have been searched for several times because so I just put in Brianna and it came up like the, the first. <laughs> oh, that's wrong? Oh, not bad. Yeah, she's not bad. Well, she, I mean, I, I'm wondering good. if she licked it herself. She looks better yeah, with the dark uh, hair than the, the only blonde fans, hair. Yeah. Them, they do that. Oh, jeez. So. You got uh, actual nice pictures. We're going to drop one of these in the... <laughs> oh, my God. Well, dude. on the bright side, she I'm can go full-time now in this porn thing. Yeah. I'm sure money. she'll make more money. Yeah. yeah. She probably knew these she was are, on her All way these out. girls are just mm-hmm. named Brianna. I don't know that it's her. <laughs> just, just pick <laughs> the hottest <laughs> one. All these and we'll call it. Definitely <laughs> not her. <clears throat> we'll just call it her. Unless she had a really good suntan that day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so where, where did this take place at? Missouri. Missouri. We should go to school. Okay, so sorry. uh, Taught English at uh, St. Clair High School in Missouri. uh, Says her teaching days are probably over, but she acknowledged she knew the risks. Copage told St. Louis Post-Dispatch that she was put on leave on Wednesday after being interviewed by two administrators. Her access to school, email, and other software was suspended while the district investigates, Hmm. she said. Um, It was kind of always like this cloud hanging over my head. <laughs> that wasn't no cloud, honey. Uh, <laughs> Balls. <laughs> <laughs> like I never knew when I would be discovered, Copage said in an interview. Then about two weeks ago, my husband and I <laughs> were oh, told man. that people were finding out about it. So I knew this day was coming. So, it was the kids that found They would have never day. found her if she didn't have her scannable code well, on every, the whole thing. every they, hallway window. High school kids, are, you know, they discover the internet and then, oh, my God, that's my English teacher. So, 
I'm surprised that none of those kids tried to blackmail like, hey, Miss Coppage or whatever her name is, like, you know, I'd like to get a better grade if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I won't tell the admin about your site. Moonlighting. Yeah. Wow. Takes all kinds, folks. Yeah. In high school. Damn. Well, yeah. It'd be different if she was like a kindergarten teacher because your students ain't going to find out. At least not easily. These kindergartners are good with the internet now, Mike. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe so. Um, okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm just looking at other headlines here. You're just looking at her like, picture? You're like, no. oh, she is kind of good looking. <laughs> Phillies deny emotional support alligator from entering the ballpark. Yeah, I saw that. Did we talk about that last week? No, but no, I, I saw yeah. that. I think you might have sent that. Was that in? Uh, yeah. Was you, that you Philly? Just, you sent that in the. Yeah. Phillies yeah. deny emotional support alligator from entering the ballpark. <laughs> A Phillies fan and his emotional support alligator. <laughs> God. Um, we're denied entrance to watch Philadelphia host Pittsburgh. Um, Moose on the loose in Stockholm subway creates havoc and is shot dead. Oh, come on, man. Well, there was a... Just ask the moose to leave. He'll leave. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it was in Florida, but they found like a 13 or 40 foot alligator with half a body. I think it was like the bottom half of oh, a shit. woman. Something even, oh, with the woman inside? Oh. In, 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 the, in the mouth. Nah. Yeah. Is it, um, so that woman, they, they ID'd I, I her and uh, said she was uh, homeless and she lived along the river, the river there. Yeah. yeah. Well, is they, it surprising? They don't know if she died and then the alligator got her or the <laughs> alligator got her and killed her. They're, they're not sure on that part. And the only comment from the alligator was that it needed salt. <laughs> See you later. The, uh, well, with all the videos out there, people trying to pet alligators, I mean, you'd think there would be more of that. You know, I wish like there so would be. So many YouTube videos of people like, well, let's see how many of us can sit on this crocodile before it does something. And it snaps and somebody and grabs them. It's like, come on, guys. It's like the people, it's the same with the people who go try and walk up to, like, bison and take the pic, take a picture with them. It's like, yeah, that's that's smart. That's real smart. I'm doing that this uh, next summer. Yeah, go see if you can pet one of them. I'm, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to ride one. <laughs> Get it on video. Like the guy on a buffalo? Yeah. Cut over to the guy in a buffalo clip, Al. So... So what, what what did the buffalo say when his son went off to college? Bison. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <Stupid>. god! <laughs> Don't encourage him, please. Well, if we're going to be doing dad jokes. I'll. Uh, That's, you got one. Uh, no, you're I don't you're, have, I you're can't, out. That's what you say. I've got him, though. Is, is what you're saying. You're out. You don't want this anymore. Well, wait, what, what's it take to please a, an Amish woman? Two men a night? <laughs> <laughs> Two men a night. This sucks not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking terrible. I Welcome to the Debbie Downer podcast. I have a friend bringing me... Bottles of Red Horse from the Philippines next week. Maybe I can bring that for us. Oh, there you nice. go. Oh, shit. I guess, I guess they sell them in one liter bottles. Okay. What is this? What is Red Horse? It sounds challenge it's accepted. Whiskey or something? Filipino, Filipino beer. beer. Oh, beer. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, like it's from their, you know, oh, from their our, our artesian so. wells down there in the Philippines. <laughs> so <laughs> Crystal clear so water. Two, two questions. How many bottles does he bring in, and are we going to play how many bottles can we drink? <laughs> Well, they're one liter bottles. It's a, yeah. it's a good thing. It's a good thing we're not drinking. Those away. It's a good thing we're not drinking for another twenty-eight days. Well, I didn't know about this. <laughs> Boo. So I'll start next year. Yeah. I'll that's drink. Like, I'll drink. I'll let you know how it tastes. That's like a whole month of February that we can't drink. February. Twenty-eight days. You're right. We should come, we should month, we yeah. should postpone this to uh, sober February. To yeah. to February. <laughs> <laughs> this won't be released till about February. <laughs> you know, I get done next year it. next year's a leap year. You know that. that a picture. Oh, is this oh. upcoming one? Yeah, whenever there's an election, it's leap year. Oh shit! So yeah. well, then we'll that, have to postpone it to the following year. 
So, yeah, so damn. February 25, is that what we're shooting for? <laughs> yeah, sober February, folks. Mark it on your calendars. <laughs> and don't join in with All us. that matters is you're giving effort to bettering yourself. That's the number one thing. <laughs> yeah. Sober first week of October will be done. Well, let me ask you this. What's <laughs> the, this one week. What's Wrong. In your typical adult life, what's the longest you've gone without drinking? A couple of years. Years. Uh, well, Nick, I doesn't surprise yeah. me. Yeah, I and mean, when I competed, I hardly drink. You were a drink competitive drinker. Yeah, <laughs> every damn day. No, and I mean when I was competing because that that didn't fit. You know, drinking does, did a not fit with the program. I probably went so. a month or so before, and even sometimes when I have do drink, sometimes it'll be like two beers or something. I mean, as far as actually drinking, like sitting down, I don't do that very often. I've done. Almost a year. I, I mean, obviously, I did 75 hard twice. You can't drink during that. That's 75 days each time you do that. But then there was one time, I think I did almost a year. And, it, you know, you're, the cool thing is you get a lot of focus and you, you're on point. But after a while, you're just like, man, I just feel too good. I got to find a way to fuck this Mike. up. <laughs> like, like, life's get kind of boring. And then you have one beer and you're like, that was fun. The next night you drink like four beers and you're like, that was really You fun. wake up in the morning and there the she is and you're like, like, fuck, I need a drink. <laughs> God. She's still here, damn it. Anyway. I just didn't have time. When I was competing, Yeah, I just didn't have time to drink. You can lift and drink. You, were, you had an in-between set time. <laughs> what about right? you, Wes? I, I don't know. <laughs> I have a couple every day, but I don't like drink drink and i don't Sloshed. ever like are these those liter beers you were talking about no <laughs> this is my my my, my 30 pack of bush light yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> but uh i don't know i mean i'm not like a heavy drinker but I, i'll have a couple a day though that's you know. healthy two a day is healthy yeah i had so they two say. before i came over here <laughs> no so i've le- reached my limit for the day <laughs> really, when i used to work at well, some of you guys still work. Try for I would, I remember on some of my long weekends, man, I could damn near go through like a 30 pack of freaking natural ice in a day. In a day? Yeah. It's a bit of Almost. a problem. It's a lot I of beer. I would definitely break into the bottom, the bottom level. It's a lot so of beer. It's 15 on the top, 15 on the bottom. I wake up and I'm like, damn, why am I only down to eight beers? This sucks. I got to go to the store. <laughs> I don't like how well. You didn't. Like you didn't check Andrew's room. That's why <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like beer. I didn't check up by Cody's. Bed. Most kids don't. Freaking, yeah, you remember like sneaking a sip when beer. you're a kid. Yeah, and then you're like, oh my god, why, why do? Why oh, do I used to love beer when I was my old man. He's, <laughs> he still drinks. We used to have poker parties. You'd have poker parties at the house, and we'd always sneak out to the porch where the where the keg was and drink it. And then first thing in the morning, we'd wake up super early. To go scrounging the carpet under the table for all the change, and then we go outside and see who could drink the most. Before my parents, we'd be like this. Well, <laughs> well, I do have to say, I mean, well, the the, like beer, beer from a keg <laughs> is is a lot tastier. Yeah, but, well, but you yeah. know, you're drink, drinking it from a can as a kid is like, Ugh. I mean, when that's bitter. all you see your dad do, that's your role model, man. You're like, yeah, I'm fucking drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was what kind of beer did your dad drink? Oh, he had a you did when I was real young Miller, and then he did a lot of old mill there for a while. And oh yeah, that's uh, old man beer. Yeah, <laughs> no, my dad was mostly Olympia and hams. It was like whatever the fuck was hams. on sale. He said, "Hey, get in the car. We're going for a ride." And we're like, "Where are we going?" He's like, "We're going to the store." And we're like, "Cool, maybe yeah, we'll get my, some candy." My dad drank Olympia, and this shit would be on sale for like three and a half bucks a twelve er, and he would get like yeah. you get like twelve or fifteen twelve packs and have us. Load up the trunk. That was why. Even old mill used to be cheap. Now it's like expensive. <clears throat> Same thing. PBR. My my mom's dad, my grandpa on her side, used to have the whole fridge out in the garage full of PBR, and then under the stairs he just had twelve packs lined, so he could just bring his friends would come over and they just stand around the garage and drink. And I remember even when I started drinking, that was cheaper than all the other beers. Now it's like hipster beer, and it's like just as much as hey, anything man. else. Ice cold PBR on a hot day is pretty good. I think so. My dad used to have a kegerator back in the day. Yep. It was uh, 
It was the neighbors. And they got so fucking drunk. And uh, your dad stole it. Including somebody at work that, that we work with. He was there too. They got so drunk that the neighbor's wife said, get this fucking fridge out of here or else we're getting divorced. So they said, okay. And they just rolled it across the street into my, <laughs> into my, <laughs> my garage. And then they there just you go, honey. My house. I was like, hey, honey, I'm going across the street. Yeah. <laughs> going across the street to Bert's house. <clears throat> yeah. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. They had a kegerator. My brother lived with us. You know, we bought a house together, and we converted a regular fridge to a kegerator. And every Friday, he went to Drake's Brewery after work, and we'd bring home these freaking half kegs or whatever you want to call it. We had two taps on it. Anyway, Drake's had this shit called Diagonizer, and what we didn't realize when we were doing yard work one weekend is this shit is like 11% alcohol. So it's like we got two and a half beers in. We're like, fuck the yard work. Let's barbecue. <laughs> Meanwhile, the mower's just like sitting in the middle of the lawn, half mowed. Yeah. We'd stay up and freaking throw darts. And then the next thing you know, it'd be like two in the morning. We got to wake up to go to work the next day. You go, okay, one more, one more half glass. One more half glass. We did that shit till like two in the morning. Jeez. Like, yeah, it's probably not good to live with your brother and a kegerator at the same time. So. Anyway, what your That's dad drink was? Suck. My dad didn't drink. No, he never. I did not grow up in a drinking family. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's weird because That's everyone right. that knows or hangs around you has to drink. Well, yeah. Well, it's just everybody I know now drinks. But that's probably why you're just like a two. Is it a, a two bush a day kind of drink? Well, uh, you're not going to get fucked. I haven't that. like what you guys are describing. I mean, that was like college days. Yeah. But like now, I mean, I'm. I'll pretty much have a beer with lunch. I'm okay with having one beer at lunch and I'm good. Yeah. You know, I don't, you know, but, uh, yeah. I, Is this my, during my dad, work hours? I think I saw my dad drink one time, one time at one party and it was like Coors Light and that was it. I don't think I've ever seen my dad drink. Was it uh, because he's just too damn busy? I mean, you grew up on a farm, right? Is it, they is were... Kind of more on the religious side, oh, okay. more like the straight so, and narrow. What, what happened to you? I don't know. I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> that all sounds like a lot of effort. <laughs> the, 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 the internet kicked in, and you uh, know, 2000. Uh, Why 2K? <laughs> I, so. I had my neighbor come over this weekend because my music was too loud. I had that happen. Really? Again? Yeah, like from up the street. Up the street on the opposite side of the street. It's like, wow, oh, the walls are rattling. Do you think you could turn it down? And I'm like. I almost felt like saying, it's fucking three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. You know what you should have said? But then I thought, well, what? maybe. What? Maybe. What? Maybe not everybody <laughs> wants to hear Foo Fighters at three quarter volume at three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. So I said, all right, I'll turn it down to half. Maybe it's because you're running around in your underwear doing that risky business routine. <laughs> I was right down here in the yard. He's like standing to where you could just see me like waving his hands. Like, <laughs> so I wouldn't have otherwise known he was there. It was, it was You're wearing your loud. Daisy Dukes and no shirt. Yeah, he's like, I woke up at five, and then I felt like saying, "Well, no one fucking told you to wake up at five. Like, <laughs> should have slept in, buddy." Yeah, whatever. That's the second time. The first time was like on Fourth of July or something. It's like, dude, we're kind of partying. But all right, you should just put some know. rave music on. Oh God, yeah. And just start dancing in the yard. Like extra itself. bass boost. Yeah, no, that worked great. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, yeah, that happened this weekend. Oh, well. So, you're not making any friends around I here? Is told them. You know, one of the first signs of maturity is realizing that the volume knob also turns to the left. It's like, yeah. I said, well, it's at three quarter volume. I turned it to the left to three quarters. <laughs> Whatever. You're a terrible neighbor. No, I'm a great neighbor. Let's go. Let's go let's next go door and ask. Neighbors. I'm the best neighbor I ever. Let's had. go to next next door and ask. <laughs> How about if you go to all my neighbors and ask about them and see what they say? That's why she hasn't unsubscribed yet because she can't get an internet connection because of you. <laughs> <laughs> they were polite about that when I cut off their internet line trenching in the backyard. <laughs> really? Yeah. These neighbors here, they're not crazy about us. We're not crazy about them, but they were really polite. They're like, um. We came home and we don't have any internet. Would you happen to know why? I'm like, pay your bills. I just shut the trencher off. I'm like, um, I might have hit your cable. 
And I did. And I said, listen, just call up cable, whatever it costs. I'll have it fixed. But, of course, cable companies will come out and just fix that shit. Yeah. Or nothing was yeah. Done, so. Yeah, they, they come out pretty quick though, or did was no? It? There's mine came out within two hours. They have a different cable company. Oh no, theirs came out in like two days. Uh. So, but yeah, when our cable goes down, it can turn into a shit show real quick here because Andrew relies on the internet. So I'm like, quick, freaking turn on your phone hotspot and freaking yeah. hotspot his computer to the phone. It's gonna it's gonna be a good thing that they're gonna watch this podcast and get your Wi-Fi password so they can use the internet. They may, but I you know they have to watch it through its entirety and then see the behind the scenes in order to get there. So <laughs> they really like Al. So they watch for Al. To... They think Al is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only reasonable one here. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, well, what are you going to do neighbors? I'm, yeah. I've never really had any beef with my neighbors and I wouldn't even call the one over here with this guy. A beef because he's polite. He comes over and he's just like, "It's a it, you know, could, would you mind turning it down a little bit?" He's not like your music too loud and it sucks. He's not like a dick about it. He's really cool about it. So, yeah, you we see, got a lot of that in our neighborhood. But I mean, you hear it coming from everybody's houses. But I wouldn't call it annoyingly loud. Yeah, you know, it's like an acceptable level. But I mean, everybody in our area. I, I, I live in a good area right now. Nobody except. Well, we won't go into that, but yeah, I, I can't complain about where I live. Different skin color? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> Bunch of I, if you want to know, I think my couple houses down, a neighbor, their kids, I thought, I think they thought it would be fun if they threw their beagle into our backyard oh, no. to play with our dogs. Mm. And we come back from the movie theater with people trying to break into our backyard because our dog dogs Scrap took out their dog mm. but you know i mean it was i mean our, our fence was yard i mean our backyard's completely fenced in nobody could get in or get out I, I really think the kids thought it would be fun what kind of dog do you have they were just mutts pit bulls just rescues oh, just okay. Um, oh, like mid-sized dogs, or yeah, they were sixty pounds each. Yeah, kind of, kind of dogs that drive vehicles, you know, on the weekends. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, but I mean, even with that happening, I mean, you know, I, they knew it wasn't. It's not like our dogs ran over to their yard, oh, yeah. right? You know, and did it, and you know, there's really no way their dog got into our yard unless somebody wanted their dog into our yard so you came home and there were just pieces of dog everywhere no i mean it wasn't like alligator attack bad i mean it was just you have they, an alligator no <laughs> but i'm just saying it's not like that i mean but no they, 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 did i kill that again so uh, something that with that cable well, you got to swap out that cable i think it's so. a cable yeah go ahead it's yeah. weird because that's how the police got onto your dog fighting operation <laughs> no well, I did talk to somebody about it, and he said there's really... We're just there. You know. There you go. You gotta you kinda, yeah, we got to replace that, that shit. Yeah. Anyways. There you go. But, you know, I, I talked to... Actually, I ended up golfing with a guy that was part of, like, the Humane Society, and I explained to him, you know, what happened, and he's like, you know, there was no fault, you know, on our side of it. But, you know, I felt bad. You know, we felt bad. And Did they try to give you the vet bill or something? No, I mean, that's the thing. It was like even with that happening, you know, everything was cool. And, you know, they, they understood and didn't make a big deal out of it. You try to tape the head back on like on Dumb and Dumber and give it back to the kid? <laughs> well, I did a better job than that. Put it backwards. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, uh, but I, I, you know, I mean, that was a pretty serious situation there at the house. Oh, absolutely. You know, but nothing ever came of it. You know, there's none of the whole you know kind of shit bad bad neighbor where they're always harassing us or you know we still see each other wave at each other hang out you know Mm. it was just a bad situation you know i think they tried to cover up the kids are trying to break into your house i i don't know but well that's the thing too it was like oh my god they're home they're, Quick, throw the beagle. They use the like, dog. <laughs> they use the dog as bait while they try uh, to break into your probably. house. Your well, that's the thing too. It's like they're kind of like you here, where there's nobody living behind you, mm-hmm. and their yard wasn't even fenced in in the back. Oh, okay. You know, so their dog had no 
fenced yeah. in area and their kids used to play back back in there behind us and i really think they either pulled the gate to let him in because i have it to where our dogs can't push out to get out to the gate so i don't know if they like pushed in the gate maybe threw, threw him over yeah this is really annoying there we go there you go am i good there yep. Yep. yeah we're good yeah, yeah, i gotta replace it so. <laughs> i have another cable but and then the other house the first one we moved into we were moving in that night like at 10 o'clock i mean literally the movers moving into the house the neighbor came over knocked on our door and said are your dogs going to be a problem oh my holy shit are you i mean that was the very first thing i mean i would have been like yep uh uh-huh you know they probably will Uh, oh that guy was a jerk yeah describe what a problem is yeah are you going to be a problem how about that (laughs) i am a dog owner are you going to be a problem so i have had a bad neighbor or a bad experience with one i mean it was more than that i mean that but that was like the first encounter with him but uh i mean he he was he made our lives miserable for a year before we moved Mm. yeah you get those kind of neighbors from time to time thank god i got i got pretty cool neighbors my neighbors are good oh i don't have any (laughs) <laughs> they're good they're a quarter mile that way yeah. <laughs> i haven't checked up on them in nick's a while. got that fifteen thousand acre property yeah just 35 but the ranch good. It's all right you can put a shooting range on there yeah i have one yeah. i mean Do not you? that you have any guns but you know no i don't but good. for like slingshots and stuff charge yeah. people you'd be like dragon man charge people yeah to use oh, your, your, your range yeah yeah. Oh, good deal. All right. Any other stories? Or are we going to call it? Yeah, I think we're out. I got. You got anything, Just We got some. Uh, <laughs> Nothing, man. Technological fixtures we need. To yeah, do. I got to swap out a camera and a cable for next week. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I actually have a replacement. Next for week that comes one. quicker than you think. Are I mean. we still going <laughs> to? We all still going to move the shirts to the right and see if anyone notices on the. <laughs> Next podcast. <laughs> we can. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Thanks All right, for- guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Tell everybody all about how great this is and see if we can get that million and first subscriber. Put your bonehead uh, car uh, stories in the comments below. Yeah, that too. And or any stories that have to do with your high school teacher. With or any story driving. that might make this podcast more interesting. <laughs> Put it down below. Alright, thanks guys. Peace. Today, Mike. I sent you guys one about the dog and the driver's seat. I hadn't read it yet. Oh, here's your filter. What are you talking about? You need to use your mask. <laughs> the dog in the driver's seat. We already went through that. It's a follow up. Oh, well, it's not really a follow up, but it, it just goes. Along he got caught in another country. Oh, I see. Same dog. Slovakia. <laughs> hey, you guys gonna do a podcast with us or what? Dude. I don't know how this works. You gotta hold my hand. I want a beer. Right. I know. I right. here to watch. It's just one. <laughs> oh, what we got here? Some merch. Yeah, I, I, I lost this silver October thing. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> he was admitting it right from the get get go. Yeah, you guys win. Oh, look at that! Did you get my other collection? I have a collection of like all oh, a bunch of people that quit, like yeah. Angel Rail and. Yeah. Miriam and all these things. Yeah, Dave Miriam and I started collecting people's badges when they would quit. Do you have any of mine? <laughs> I quit my I think I do. <laughs> my bye, Nick. Yeah. I quit two times. Maybe a third. Fair warning on these chairs, Wes. Your ass will hurt after a while. So you may decide you're gonna stand up.
So just after the dildo. Only yeah, when that stabilizer bar <laughs> goes straight up to keep you as you don't fall off. <laughs> You got me a freaking ball sack holder, dude. I appreciate that. I know, it's kind of big for you right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, you're like, like you're about to swallow that thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Like oh, this? Oh, okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> See, you, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's my first time. <laughs> no, it's my first time, I swear. That's what they all say. <laughs> they always say that. I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> How do you put an hour together of this? We just wing it. Just wait until the games start. Hold on. Today. T -t -t Today, Junior. Fucking shit right to here. do, man. No, you don't. Still. You gotta work tomorrow. No, you don't. True. I don't call what you do there work. So what's the over-under on uh, Wes just getting up and walking out mid-podcast? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Last I checked, was like 70, 80. <laughs> 70, 80. Yeah, 70, 80. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it just like, this is fucking dumb, and it walks away? <laughs> I just, I need to leave a six. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna just uh, kick it off? Five, four, three, two, one.